All right, what's going on, guys? We are running a Kahira style version of Elementals, and uh, you know, we're, normally we've been playing with Birds of Paradise, we Birds of Paradise, and we switched to Ignoble Hierarch when Modern Horizons Two came out. But with the new uh, Force of Worlds style Elementals, uh, I just really can't pass up on at least giving this a try and i've seen some other guys having success with uh having kurt kahira as their companion in the sideboard so we're gonna go ahead and give it a try and see how it goes I don't know, it seems solid. I definitely keep this on six and pitch a vial. Enchantments. Uh, I think we're just going to get this now because it's a cash trigger. They don't usually play removals, so I'm just gonna... Start getting value. Here comes the boom skis. Players can't get counter Alright. Okay. These are cat, this is a cat beast, so Big six. I guess I have to actually choose nothing. Well, we definitely can't beat this. <laughs> I'm taking a picture because my buddy plays enchantments, and that just looks so dumb. <sighs> oh man, and I, I mean, I don't think we can beat this with our main deck.
I definitely, I can beat this at the point we're at right now. There is a line for me to take to beat this. But I, then the game's going to have to go on a lot longer. Okay, uh, I see pathways to victory. But I need more mana. I need more mana. So I'm just going to get a Risen Reef. Well, now we probably can't win. All right, so we can get a smoke braider. All right, 
I mean, we definitely have a way to win this game. We definitely have a way to win this game. It would be really nice if one of these Ether Valves was on three. It would be really, really nice. Yep. Okay, so now we have to actually kill the Solemnity. Okay, so this will get this, this will get this. I think we'll just get it.
Oh, man. Yep. It's not legendary, is it? <sighs> Fucking annoying, man. Until Edmundity just crushes that. I mean, I, don't, I haven't seen anyone else playing Solemnity in this deck, and it just specifically trashes our deck. Solemnity versus Chalice of the Void. I feel like a real dog in this matchup. I feel like I have to board in Ratchet Bomb just because it does so much. Oh, come on, dude. You're already mulligan, so I know you're there.
If he just untaps and fucking blood moons us, I'll be so fucking pissed. Hey, Pablo, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, we got thrashed game one by this deck. He's playing Solemnity, Frixion on Life, and that's tough, tough, tough for us to beat, especially main deck. Okay. They always go for the Omnath. But Risen Reef just keeps on giving me value. Yeah, Sterling Grove, you fucker. Solitude is a nice upgrade, and we're playing uh, with Kahira now, and just being able to tap for three mana and have this whenever we want is pretty solid. Did I just skip through my turn? Wow. Yeah, I just skipped to my turn. Now all of his stuff just has shroud. Super annoying. This should be legendary. The fact that this isn't legendary and you can just give all his stuff shroud like that is. What what is someone supposed to do against that? Man, that was super tilting. <laughs> I'm super tilted by that enchantment deck. Oh, and of course we have both reflecting pools in our hand. Just classic. Oh, and I kept. Oh, and I kept. Mm. Well, when I draw my third land, you better watch out. I'm just super tilted about that last game.
Phoenix. Watch out, we got our we got our third land. Alright, next turn we're probably just gonna be skelementaling and smoke braidering. Never mind. Well, again, we feel fairly behind here. Should have double blocked and made him use his shit. Yeah, that was just really bad, actually. That was actually really bad. Let's talk and seed. Let's talk and seed. getting rid of our guys with one toughness that just get destroyed by lava dart this hand seems fine
doesn't crack on instep. Dub red. Sure, bird. Hey, how you doing, STV? Okay, rebounding a faithless salvaging. I'm doing good, bud. How about yourself? A little tilted after, uh... Oh, did our music just stop? I... Uh... Did our music just stop? Now it refuses to start. Next song. All right, there we go. All right, Soul Scar Mage. What you up to this Friday, man? Just chilling. We will take one. Uh, I saw that one of the recent guys that that played Elementals was playing a Singleton Cloud Conceer, and I'm just kind of looking... Okay, he's had enough. I'm looking for... Well, like, it gets recurred with Thunderkin Awakener, that's one thing. It blocks Flyers, that's another thing. Um, I don't know. He, he, he was playing a Singleton, and I wanted to give it a try. I like cards that, that draw me extra cards. Thought I'd give it a shot. <laughs> but, you know, that's really the only reason. I, I thought it looked cool. <laughs> but uh, he he just recently 5-0'd, I think, back on the 15th. So check out his list uh, in the 5-0 Elemental Leagues. Now, having said that, he was, he was playing... <laughs> I can't do this all. STV, man. Appreciate that, bud. Really do appreciate the follow. Pablo! I know, man. Elementals are the best. Uh, I'm trying to find his list real quick. mtgtext.net It's not the. Uh, what was it? On duty medic. Mm. Nope. No, it wasn't charging badger. I th oh, I think it was Pevin actually. I think it was Pevin. And he, yeah, he five out on the fifteenth. People are doing well with yeah. Here we go. Here's the cloud can see here. He's only played one Thunderkin Elemental, which I certainly can't get behind. But and like Leaf can Druid, I think I'd rather play, have the Tangled Florahedron. Uh Risen Reef. This card is the nut. This card is the nut. Uh, I like having the Fury, but only one land. I don't know. Risen Reef is the nut. God, why are you only give me one land, Moto? Why you hate me? Why do you hate me? 
All right, I don't think we want to have two guys that we have to pitch, and I think Fury's going to be our better pitch once we... <laughs> it's going to feel bad, but hopefully we get a payoff. Yeah, man, I like the... Uh, I like the one-up toolboxes, that's for sure. That's for sure. I love the one-up toolboxes. The one-up Fulminator Mage, the one-up Endurance. That's what I love. I just love toolbox decks, and this card lets me draw a lot of cards, which I also love doing. <sighs> was it a menace in standard? I might have been out of standard by that point. I think I was out of standard by M20. Uh, switched to Pioneer and Modern. Standard just kind of... Well, the, the really the problem was that they... Back when uh, Wizards, oh, that was a good draw. Uh, back when Wizards changed it so that instead of like three sets, it was like two sets to a block. Uh, when when Wizards switched it to two sets to a block, and that meant Standard would be rotating faster, people were like, "Fuck you, Wizards! Why am I going to? Why am I going to shell out my money on these cards that are going to be?" worthless even sooner now than they would be before and we could we would we couldn't even get eight people to uh to play magic play standard on friday nights it was ridiculous i was super pissed uh well i think i'm just gonna do this right <sighs> do i want to be greedy and wait one more turn maybe i'll be greedy and wait one more turn I definitely want to at least play the voice before, but I think I'm going to be greedy and wait one more turn. But anyway, like, so I was like, all right, well, I guess my standard cards are worthless now because no one wants to play standard. I, I think I fortunately sh sold them before they lost value, but now, now I'd have to completely reinvest in standard and it's just, I love modern. So why would I invest in standard? And I, from what I hear, everybody keeps saying how shitty standard is. Everybody says how shitty standard is, especially these days. A lot of historic. I never actually got into arena. You know, I invested in a moto and now they want me to either put money. I mean, have you put money into arena? Because like, I feel like... You just have to do. You have to make it a major grind fest if you're actually going to. Oh, I think that I'm going to get him with Fury. Hopefully, I get him with Fury. Uh, I, I mean, maybe it's possible if you if you just know Life Arena and that's all you play. Maybe it's possible to to grind out some value. But I feel like I'd have to put in money if if I wanted to play what I want to play. The only reason why I played Standard was because it was the only thing on Arena back then. I did really sleek it myself into an mtgo account as i wanted to play modern historic also pretty good now though yeah i have I, I have heard that historic was good and i heard that for the most part the the new additions uh like the brainstorm and all that stuff i, I hear that that has really shooken up historic and made it a lot better format okay oh man well i guess i shouldn't have been greedy with my fury guys I should not have been greedy with my fury. <sighs> you motherfucker. so fucked I just wasn't expecting him to be able to get his dudes up to three power this soon I guess I should not have underestimated my opponent and then we get stuck on the lands too super tilting fortunately you guys weren't here for our first match we got solemnity Frixian 
what is it? The one that you get when you have zero life, you get poison counters, Frixian on life. God, what a punch in the dick that was. And we almost ground out game one because our, our line was to... He had the enchantment that gave all his stuff shroud. So our line was to play a, a Flicker Wisp, Flicker Wisp the shroud enchantment, then Spite Bellows kill our Flicker Wisp, and then attack with Thunderkin Awakener to bring back Flicker Wisp to then Flicker Wisp the Frixian on life when he's already at zero. That was our out, but man, was it slow, and he eventually, you know, dropped a Blood Moon and. Yeah, it, it was the line we had to take was crazy, but super tilting to play. And then game two, he got the Solemnity Frixion on Life combo out quick. And before he even played either of the cards, he got out the double Shroud enchantment. So it gives each other Shroud and then all the rest of his enchantment Shroud. And we were just totally fucked. It was all shitty. All right. Nope. Elves? Nope. Even worse. Even worse. I think we just cast this now just to get it out there. Maybe Earl t maybe he won't block. So normally instead of Kahira we're playing with we started we started playing with Birds of Paradise and then uh, once Ignoble Hierarch got printed we were playing with that and that gave us a little bit more explosiveness as far as getting our dudes out faster um, but we decided to give Kahira a try since with the new element uh, Evoke style elementals, the force of will evoke style elementals. This lets us just tap three mana to get a green or a white card into our hand for solitude or endurance. But we've definitely lost explosiveness. Uh, I have played against Ponza, but, uh, no, when, when I first got into Modern, I was playing Jund, and then, uh, a buddy at my local game store was playing Elementals, and I'm like, man, this deck is fucking sweet, and Jund is just so expensive, and this was when Pioneer was starting to be a thing, and I was worried that Pioneer was gonna kill Modern as a format, so... I sold out of Jund when everything was at its highest. We are so fucked here, too. We just keep on ripping lands. Uh, so I sold out of Jund when most prices were at its highest. Like, Tarmogoyf was still, like, 90 bucks before it got printed in, a, in Oblivion. Uh, and I bought, I bought into Elementals for, like... 200 bucks total never looked back i love me some elementals um but i do think pons is probably going to be pretty good now especially with that new dragon that at the top end you know just keep on keep on the mana denial plan give him even more mana denial i think the deck's good for sure 
I think it struggles a little bit with aggro. I don't know how its blue red, uh, blue red prowess matchup is. Seems like a rough matchup. But yeah, we're super fucked this game. Vindicate was the whole reason you got into MTGO. Let me know if my mic's too loud. Sometimes it looks like I'm going into the red. Let me know if it's too loud. Um, but Vindicate was the reason why you invested in the MTGO. That's nuts. What have you been waiting for? <laughs> Just waiting for a deck you like, I guess. Who's we? What the fuck? See, like, this is, I... Another, another thing we were playing without Kahira, we were able to play uh, Glass Pool Mimic because Glass Pool Mimic can either be, like, a copy spell for my Risen Reef or it can be a land. And Modo has this habit of either flooding you completely or mana screwing you completely completely and glass pool mimic cards like glass pool mimic help mitigate that because it's a land when you need a land and it's a it's a card when you need a card and this like 70 percent of my losses are because this shit happens like the last game we just played you know we got stuck on two lands we kept a two lander and we never drew a land yeah, I think I've seen enough. But like this is, I'm, I'm just so ready to play in paper again because this just happens so much more than it should. So, so much more than it should. And it's super fucking frustrating. No, it's not because you're, <laughs> trust me, man. Even when nobody's watching, I still get super, super flooded. <laughs> and it's super frustrating it's super frustrating uh... yeah, I played 23 lands in the in my other build I'll show you my other build real quick uh, so this is my build with the dorks So we got the four mimics here. Super sweet card. Love this card. Uh, but we're playing 21 lands and four of these guys. And it's been a lot better than when we than when we don't play like that. And what I mean by that is we get mana screwed slash flooded a whole lot less. And being able to copy Risen Reef is pretty nutty. That's, you know, that was, I really like my, my mana dorks. So, I, but I'd be okay giving them up for the Kahira. But man, do I, I'm, I, I, I gotta copy my Risen Reef, man. I'm, I just need more cards. More, 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 please. Uh, Omnath helps us get back Fulminator Mage with Thunderkin Awakener by putting plus one plus one counters onto it. Omnath seems less good. I guess also voice is not great. Uh, I I switched the list just because I wanted to try out Kahira. I I I haven't actually tried with the card and be and like I said, being able to pay three mana to get a green or white card in my hand for endurance or solitude guaranteed or even uh or even force of vigor you know if they're playing a blood moon deck 
and I have Force of Vigor, but I don't have a green card in my hand, I can just play three mana and get a key hero to my hand. So, like, it's really good. And also, it gets my elementals plus one, plus one. So that beefs up Thunderkin Awakener so we can get cards back. Like, oh, no, and I didn't even, I didn't even press submit. Fuck. Yeah, I didn't even press submit. <laughs> Great. But it, I mean, this, this, <laughs> this league is fucked anyway. This league is fucked. But it, Kahira is really good, but it just limits me to having to only be able to play elementals in my deck, and I'm missing my, I'm missing my my non-elemental cards. Yeah, fuck you too, buddy. Good thing I bought it in all my artifact hate. And we even got the unclaimed territory. We didn't have to play the Tangled Florahedron. Perfect. Alright, so now we can Risen Reef and Flamekin for the Foundation Breaker. Yeah, man. Thunderkin Awakener is my baby. Okay. So let's see what we get. Okay. I think I'll just add more mana to the board. Sweet. Vomit. We're not with... Oh no, I can't even get Foundation Breaker because I didn't hit Submit and my list is... Oh, he's just got nothing? Yeah, I didn't even, I don't even have a foundation breaker in my deck. <laughs> so I cannot. Oh, that was a decent draw. Alright, I think I just get a Risen Reef here, actually, since I don't have my sideboard tech in the deck. Yeah. I just got to overwhelm. I can do this all on my Smeg my lasagna. I appreciate the follow, man. Really hope you uh I really welcome you to the, to the community and I hope you uh hope you enjoy your time here. And hope you uh, hope you like some elementals because they're pretty fucking sweet. But I, I really appreciate it, man. All right. It's 8 o'clock though, buddy. Where you at that you're going to bed right now? You overseas? I guess you're not responding, so don't, don't get out of bed or whatever. And 
and feel like you got to answer me. All right. Dryad. Uh, no, I don't want to use that ether vial anymore. All right, let's get a lot of mana. Red, white. Netherlands, nice, man. All right, STV. Good to have you back, bud. All right, there's one trigger. Let's draw a trigger. Okay. Let's get some mana. Uh, let's Thunderkin. All right, that should do it. That should win, right? I would think. Hey man, I appreciate that. I uh I wouldn't say that I'm new. I started like October or Des December of uh of last year. Okay, take 4. Um but I don't know, man. I just really love me some elementals. And I just, I, that's the content I wanted to watch, and nobody seems to be making it, so I figured I'd just make it myself. But I really appreciate that, man. Alright, do we win? Uh, takes... If you block like that, I win. Okay, I guess I win. <laughs> I don't know what he was thinking. <laughs> Alright, let's actually submit our deck before we run out of time. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't I don't know what that was. <laughs> I really don't. I just did not want to uh did not want to block so that he could stay alive, I guess. Oh right, yeah, we want one of these guys. Uh I just don't think Fury is I don't know. It kills, you know, it it, it kills there are two for... I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't seem great, honestly. Probably better than Vesper Lark. Probably better than Voice of Resurgence. Oh yeah, I'm not even... What am I doing? Not even putting Damping Spheres? All right, I'd rather have a Damping Sphere than a Fury for sure. For sure, for sure. Alright. Now that we got our deck right. Alright. I think we can work with this. I think we can work with this. Oh, I kind of like this. What is this? Aqua Marina by Harris Heller. I like to take a little picture of the songs that I like. Eventually, I'm going to get all those songs onto one playlist and then not have to listen to any songs I don't like. <laughs> All right, opponent goes to six. Urza Shaga. 
Oh, he just has it. Oh. I think I'll just get a foundation breaker here. Everything's a forest. Uh, I think I'm just gonna do this right now because they're getting another. They're getting another amulet next turn. Why, yes, I would. Definitely don't feel great. He's at four cards in hand. He's losing a land here. He's probably going to float. Okay. Okay. He only has three cards left in hand. I feel kind of good here. Okay, now with the Kihira in play, we can get our Thunderkin back to bring back foundation beast we're a little far away from that but I think this is Ambient Gold. This song is... Oh no, this is Tim's Crown. Yeah, this song's dope too. This is already on the playlist. Alright, so opponent plays Forest. Okay, <laughs> like what is going on? All right, uh, I think I just want to get I want to get this uh, Kihira to my hand so I can cast it. Next turn. And I can also Flicker Wisp here. My Flamekin Harbinger. And I'm going to get Oh, I should have attacked first, but uh, I'm going to get a Fulminator Mage, so he is discouraged about getting a Karu land. Actually, I could just get a... could get a Lightning Skelemental. Now I'm going to get a Fulminator Mage. I'm going to get a Fulminator Mage. And we still have Solitude on lock. And then Kahira, Th Fulminator Mage, Thunderkin Awakener will lock out his uh, non-basic lands. So even without boarding game two, he still managed to uh, pull it out. Definitely haven't pulled it out yet here. But I feel in good shape. Okay, we're Summoners Pacting for something. Probably the three drop. I doubt it's the Titan. He could have a crew land. Maybe he gets the Titan. 
But we have the solitude for the Titan if he if he does get it. He's got the Titan. Blue green. That's pretty good. Do I just win now? Now I just win. I mean, right? You just lose now. You gotta pay for pack, bud. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Crack expedition. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. All right, we're trying to claw back for a 3-2. Well, my girl's Snapchatting us. Let's see what she does, what she's uh, Snapchatting us. <laughs> That's a naked baby. That is a naked baby. That's a naked baby eating some ice cream. A baby in diapers eating some ice cream. <laughs> She's a nut. Uh, yeah, we can keep this. This hand's great, right? The Swifty T. Do we only get the one lander opponent? Opponent only has the one lander. Nope. Nope. Okay. Alright. Don't blood moon me, bro. And don't lava spike me either, please. They always have the lava spike. Okay. Discard lot. Discard Phoenix, yeah, of course, of course. Okay. Uh... I think I just take it there because I want to get some kind of value out of my Risen Reef. Although we're in a real bad spot, that's for sure. Well, that's good because now we can next turn Omnath plus land. So that's pretty sweet, actually. Yep. And we'll be able to solitude the Arclight Phoenix now, so... So we're looking alright, we're looking alright, we're not looking great, but we're looking alright. Oh, it's getting stuck on Tim's crown, why is it... 
not updating the music. No, it's not even showing it, is it because... Now it's updated. Maybe it was because... No, that's not even right. It's... Oh yeah, warm snow, yep. That's right, okay. Okay, declare blockers, so he's not... I'm not blocking. Alright, I'll take four. I <laughs> guess. All right, let's hit another land so we can, oops, so we can make some mana. Yeah, that might not update if the window isn't open, so I might have to open up that window. Well, that's a castable. Okay. Gain four. Let's hit another land. That's not another land. Uh, what do we get here? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? I'll just get another Omnath. I just want to make sure that I keep gaining life. And I'm going to be blocking with... I'll just block with this. Yeah, I'll just get another Omnath. How, what could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Yeah. Alright, well, I felt really behind and then I won. <laughs> Ratchet Bomb seems not so great, but Endurance seems great for blocking, but... Uh, Rajavon seems, like, slow, but necessary to deal with the one-drops. When I board in Rajavon, I like to board out Bile. Smoke Raider doesn't seem great. I guess Cloud Concealer actually blocks there. Cloud can actually blocks. Yeah, this seems great. Is this a different song? Still has warm snow. Yeah, there's a different song. So I guess I just have to minimize this. But now it just went away. Oh, I gotta. I guess I gotta reload it. Now it just went away. Maybe I can just put it behind? Will that work? I don't know. Fuck it. Alright, now some, for some reason that worked. Okay. <laughs> That's so weird. Also, Endurance is good at tucking, uh, fucking, what is it, Rift, Lava, Lava Dart, fuck that card, fuck Lava Dart. <laughs> Just nothing, opponent? Just nothing? You just got nothing? I don't believe you. 
Come on, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Nothing. He's just got nothing, folks. He's just got the stone cold nothing. Oh, uh, that's what he's got. <laughs> douche! <laughs> what a douche. What are you, scared? Alright, so I think we put Kahira in our hand just to get us closer to discarding. And maybe discard a Skelemental and hopefully get in with, with uh, you know. You know. Yeah, Lavadar, you fucking prick. What a douche nozzle. Total fucking douche, man. Telling you. I'm telling you. <sighs> I don't know. I'm already right going to the next one. I'll put in... I'll put in Force of Vigor. You got it, bro. You got it. I guess I'll put in my Smoke Braiders back again. It's actually castable under a Blood Moon. Alright, 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 alright. Well, all right, this is definitely a good hand. <laughs> Ragavan. Well, that can't cast Risen Reef. Moto loves to punish us. <laughs> you fucker.
I mean, we can't cast our stuff anyway, so, you know, what's even the point? Take eight. Hmm. So I have two options here. I can flash endurance and tuck his whole graveyard. He'd do two less damage to me. And then I can always put Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, because now, like, any land will... Because we don't want him lava darting my 1-1. One, one. And now this will make him re- this will make him rethink attacks. Wow, you're going down to one land, bro? Okay. That's fine. Well, now I might just block. No. No, I'll take I'll take four down to nine. I love Moto. Here goes nothing. Oh, hey, Kale. I think I'm pretty hot, too. <laughs> Fuck. Hey, thanks, Pablo. Appreciate that, buddy. All right, well, that'll give us the win next turn if he has nothing. I'm telling you, Kale. These elementals, they're tricksy. Tricks, tricksy. They full of tricks. All right, please have nothing. Please have nothing. Oh, please, would you please, please have nothing, please, 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 please. No, oh, yeah, something. What a fuck. <laughs> what a fuck. 
Alright. Yeah, he's a trick ass hoe cow. Alright, well now I don't think I'm gonna crack the peat land since like now instead of taking three damage with our three horizon lands, we only have one. So we can try we can try and draw that fifth land here. And if if we don't draw it, then maybe we'll crack the peat land. Yeah, we'll take one. Oh no, not a light up the stage. Bedlam Reveler? How many does he have? One, uh, just two. Just two, so he can't actually cast the Bedlam Reveler. That's pretty sweet. Alright, well that's a card. He's probably gonna crack that Sunbake Canyon in a turn. All right, fingers crossed, boys. Yeah, he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna crack that sunbake cannon because he can't cast that. Endurance actually was surprisingly a good play. I don't agree with opponent getting rid of. He he went down to one land. To uh, uh oh, oh another light up the stage. Fuck. All right, land manamorphose. What do you got off a of manamorphose? Oh, he got a soul scar mage. Oh, yeah, I think he should have Manamorphosed there. Well, now I can just Furious board. I'm the trick asshole, you're rude as hell. Fuck you, too. Alright, pretty good, pretty good. Make a moose. I really don't agree with opponent sacking two of his lands. He did four extra damage to me by doing that. It just was not worth it. Okay, Manamorphose. Do you find a win? You find another Manamorphose. He is spinning his wheels. Hey. Alright, we are clawing our way into a 3 2, boys. Kale, why you gotta be so rude? And it's still not updating. What the? Alright, let's do it, boys. Let's do it. Goose! The goose is loose! <sighs> nah, bro. Hey, what do you need? I am actually. Because when I was drinking my drink, I was fucking up. I wasn't, I mean, I only had one glass, but. What? I mean, I don't know. I was also talking to chat and that sometimes can, you know, 
make me make misplays. Not to put it all on chat, but... No. I don't check stories. Kale, I don't even know what the hell you just said. Mm-hmm. Becca, you better stop talking shit over there. Oh, Hugh? What does it look like? I'm in the middle of a stream. Beck, you better knock your shit. <laughs> Thanks. Me too. Yeah, Pablo's my boy. Yeah. All right, well, I'll, I'm going to get back to it. Love you. Bye. Bye. Well, I feel pretty fucked. I think this just gets another one of these guys. Sure. Yeah. Spring leaf drum. Why didn't he just get another one of those guys? No, another one of these, so we can just keep on getting in food tokens. This looks like a guy who's about to do six damage to himself. Yeah, man, it's pretty dirty. It's pretty dirty. It's only two? Wow, I thought it was three. All right, so we want to rip a Spite Bellows here. That's another thing we're missing. In this deck, I'm only playing two Spite Bellows in the main. In the other deck, I'm playing three. And I just love having me some Spite Bellows. Yep. 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 Deck is nutty. That all seems good. This seems bad. I guess Fulminator Mage kills the Saga, but how good is that really? Mm -mm -mm. 
Look at where blinks there. Shitters. Two for one just doesn't seem like where we want to be at. So I got a smoke breeder. The goose. Okay. I like to make greedy plays. What can I say? Dark Boar Pathway. What the hell is Dark Boar Pathway? Uh oh. Okay. Okay, well, now I think I'm just gonna play this guy. Ooh. getting places we're getting places all right here comes the pain
ブルブブルブブブブAll right, I don't think I want to play the Voice of Resurgence because I want to have two green because I want to be able to do this twice. I guess I could just do it now. And hope to hit a land. Let's see how that goes. Okay. Well, now I'll just cast this and hope to hit a land. And we hit the land. And we'll gain four life. Alright, so I think we're in decent a decent spot. Okay, makes another construct. That's fine. Yep. We have Flicker Wisp to blink that mug. We'll gain another four. Another one. All right, do you have the Asmo one? I can't about no man. He's had enough. He's had enough. And maybe Fury just is good. He plays... You know, those birds are fucking pain in the dick. And he has the Cauldron Familiar. I mean, it's less good against the Cauldron Familiar, but... What can you do? Omnath just isn't as good without the fetch lands. Not being able to add the mana is just not as good. So we'll we'll, we'll give him the old axe. I guess Solitude is good against that troll. That fucker.
Right, this hand looks great. Probably should have got Fulminator Mage. Swamp, the cookbook. The familiar. There it is. We're gonna formulate a major saga. Do you have do you even have the land drop, bro? Do you even have the land drop? You do have the land drop. Yep. Alright. Uh, and I think this will just get a Risen Reef. Actually, I could have hit the Blooming Marsh there, but that probably... Then he gets value out of the Saga. It, it would put him down two lands, though. So it was something to consider. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'll, I'll save it for a block next time. Alright, I'm feeling fairly good about this one, boys. And or girls. Ooh, the Tangled Florahedron. I still would rather have the Smoke Braider, of course. But that's going to be more value for our Risen Reef. Ooh, the spite bellows. Yeah, we'll just leave the flamekin black back, black to block, back to block. We always max our messages, or mix our messages, max our messages, I guess. Oh, he's getting flooded. Sorry, bro. That sucks. Yeah, buddy, it doesn't look good for you, man. Sorry, bud. Chalice. Yeah. Alright. Well, we crawled back for the 3-2, uh, boys. We crawled back for the 3-2.